Right? Why did you think I was an idiot for using not using red? Because you said that the red one will actually cut concrete. It will cut the concrete. The red will not cut the concrete. It's 3,200 psi. I will bet you whatever you want that that red you put that red tip on it will not cut. Well, the concrete. I'm trying it on my patio, dude. Yeah. But I'm telling you, we should try it because red will cut pallets. It'll cut pallets. Uh, what's a little bit different? It'll leave your name on it is what I'm saying though. Well, it's fine. It's just cleaning it off. It's not actually going to cut concrete. There's Man. Difference between that. All that complaining, you could have had the patio done by now. All right. So you guys, this is first start. We just put fuel in it. Eric has followed the instructions. Did you, Eric? Or you no, just... I didn't follow the instructions. It was instructions on the side here. Did you turn the fuel on? You had everything going, Can you please turn the fuel fuel's on? Fuel's got to be on. It's in line, so fuel's on, right? Yeah, I didn't have everything going. It's never been started. Everything looks good? So. Yeah, you pull in on the black and push down on the gray. Yeah, something's not right. It's not turned on or fuel. Fuel's, fuel is open. There's no primer? Just to run is and start is out. Okay, go. What's up you guys, welcome to spring. Today we're talking about uh, pressure washers and actually a real dominant force in the pressure washer industry lately has been rigid with, I mean, a whole plethora of pr pressure washers from gas to small electrics to powerful electrics, right? Um, we're gonna go over some of these that we used on the patio back there, I'll tell you what. Rigid or Ryobi you're talking about? Did I say rigid? Yeah, I thought you did. Oh, Ryobi. Ryobi, Ryobi rigid, they both yeah. start with R, right? It's That's true. Right? That's true. They're colorblind, they're both the they're same both color. They're both the same. Right? True, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Ryobi, you guys, I'm sorry. Actually, Rigid, Ryobi has more than Rigid in pressure washers. Rigid has a few commercial series, higher end ones, but these are more geared for the homeowner, but you're still getting these higher PSIs. 3,300 maybe, what is that one? This is 2,300, how much is that one? It says in the corner, I can't see. 3,300, 3,000. 
3200 3200 I think this one's 1600 right here, you guys. Um, now, how powerful you want a pressure washer is, you know, up to you. You can do damage with these things. Even these smaller ones, you guys put on that red tip. That red tip is like zero degrees. That means it's just a stream of water. And I don't know if you guys know, but, you know, at high pressures, water can cut metal. Mm -hmm. It's called water jetting. I've so, seen how they make that. Yeah, how do they make that? Isn't that what it's called? How they make how this? They or make that? What's it called? <laughs> what's it called? How it's made. Oh, how it's made. How Is that show still on? <laughs> Dude, they had the corniest no, music. Because what be funny? <laughs> so they call how they make that? Uh, I swear there's two different ones. No, how they, it's how I it's made. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I love the music funny. on there, man. You get, yeah, I know. Remember that when it came on? That and Modern Marvels. Yeah, that's not on anymore either. I know. Remember when Modern Marvels would come on? You're like, yeah, an hour of just pure, like, something cool engineering or something. Um, you guys, so we tested out all three of these units. This one is great if you got no space. You just want the extra cleaning This one's power. gas. Those are two electric, right? Right. Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now that there is... Personally, I don't feel like there's any advantage to gas, but we'll talk about that in a second. Um... Unless you're going these way higher PSIs than, what is it, 3200? So this is 23. 23 and 32. Yeah. Um, How much of a difference is it? I don't know, what, 1,000, 1,100 yeah. or something? <laughs> I don't know. You guys, so if you are just want a basic pressure washer, this little 1600 model is awesome. You know, obviously, you're not getting no high end hose or anything, quick disconnect or anything like that. You ain't getting no high end hose. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you always laugh yeah. when we do our yeah, It's know. funny. Um, no, but this is actually a good pressure washer. It's something good to have around and it works good, you know? It's good for like you were saying, like maybe a boat or something you got to move around a lot. It's very compact, yeah, you know? Yeah, or just in your garage. Because pressure washers, believe it or not, I don't know, I think everybody's garage space is at a premium. Especially yes, if you're a guy. Definitely. You know, I mean, if you're a single lady, you might not, you know, you might just put boxes in there. But us guys, I mean, we like the garage. We'd like to, it's like a, it's like a kitchen to a lady, right? They like, like to put bit. their things everywhere in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you can email them at social at toolsandaction.com. This video is getting worse and worse and worse. You guys, pretty much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot in here, Eric. It's a hot day out here in Chicago, you guys. We apologize for the slap happiness, but we've been filming all day. We're hungry and we're tired. Um, <laughs> Actually, I just woke up from a nap and just ate. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing this for you. You yeah. napped? Got a quick nap in no, there. No, you did yeah. Really? Where was I? <laughs> Sleeping in the other room. Oh, yeah, shut up. You're so full of it. Dude, oh, are you telling on. me to shut up? Eric, would you stop? Yeah. <laughs> Go. Why do you got to touch me? Because you like it. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my All right. God. All right, back on track. Back on track, you guys. Honestly, I'm going to go out on a limb, and I'm going to say this is like my favorite pressure washer to date this year. <laughs> it's electric. It's 2300 PSI, 1.2 gallons. Every video you go out. <laughs> Set out on a limb. It says my favorite because I'm back. And then that's uh, actually a cool nozzle. Yeah, the I like that. nozzle, you guys. Now check this out. I feel that this pressure washer did a better job with the turbo nozzle than that pressure washer, and that's a thousand more psi, roughly. Nine hundred. Um, Nine hundred. This has four tips too, huh? Yeah, that's got four tips. So the blue, you know, you can get extra tips. Uh, soap dispenser, this one has a soap dispenser, this one has a soap dispenser. The cheap one, the inexpensive entry level one does not. Um, this one's just designed better too. It just looks a lot better. It's just a really good looking pressure washer. The frames with the high wheel design is really good on these. Um, on the gas one, you know, it's kind of a copy of like a GC190 engine, I, I, I feel, from mm -hmm. Honda. I don't think it ran very well for us. Hey, I, I did put fresh gas in it, but it just had a little bit of a surginess to it. So, but it does have electric start, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, you like have to have the battery on, so. An axial pump on both of them, so. Um, you know, not a bad unit, but I would definitely not go with gas. Why would you use gas? You're just putting, you just have the engine to maintain. You just have, you know, gas to go bad. You have gas to put in it. This thing's just plug and play. And with that turbo nozzle, you're getting almost, well, I got, I felt better performance than that one. You know, mm -hmm. what'd you think? Remember? Yeah, I actually like that one better because like you said, this one was surging, but like gas, you got spark plugs, you got so much to maintain on it. That's just your plug and go, like you said, you know, that nozzle does a nice job. Yeah, this is a great pressure washer. And it's amazing, you guys, this is the future of pressure washers. I mean, think back 10 years ago, would you ever think that this would be a gas pressure washer that looks like a, uh, 
or an electric pressure washer that looks like a gas pressure washer, it right? It performs like one. Right, and this is a brushless, and it was instant, right? Some of them have taken a while to power up. Do they up. have duty cycles where you can only like run them for half an hour and they gotta be shut down for a half hour, or how does that? I believe so, but I don't believe so, you know, because they are. <laughs> Thanks for getting to the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, because these are running water through them, so they are remaining cool. Yeah, so, so I, I guess feel they are like, probably, you know? yeah. But okay. I mean, yeah, granted, you don't want to just turn this thing on and probably run it for 31 days straight. I don't know if that's a good idea for it. I mean, your pump might burn out. I don't know, yeah. you know? I mean, there is a. Uh, only if there are directions. What? I said only if there was directions. Well, with no, it. Well, why do you want to use it for that long? Who cares? It's well, I don't get... know. I mean, some things you can only use, for, there's duty cycles you can only use for 10 minutes or an hour or two hours, and then you gotta no, let you it cool down. No, you can use this all day. Okay, cool. And I like the cover on it. It's awesome, you guys. Check all it out. about the cover. Yes. Home Depot is where you get Royobi. Definitely highly recommend Royobi uh, as a brand for pressure washers. Definitely, I would not recommend a gas pressure washer at this point in. Life. If you're doing, not for a homeowner, if you're doing something yeah. like heavy duty in the construction, then I would still go with gas and all that. Yeah, you're going to get way better performance out of this, I feel. And I mean, you know, it's, it comes with a one plus battery. You got a battery on it. It starts, you know, I mean, I don't know. Oh my God. You had it turned on? No, actually, you just put your hand and turned it on. Oh, but it was on a run. Oh, okay. Well, it well that's all you're going to do. Yeah. We never started a thing inside, you guys. We have special ventilation here. We do. Actually, behind the camera, it's all wide open, plain fields of Texas. If you can see off the reflection on the oh, tracks. Oh, what happened? Our background's gone. Our background's gone. Oops. Well, I guess we'll mess with that later. But you guys, check it out. Tools in Action. Guys, don't forget to go over to toolsinaction.com. We're going to be giving away a lot of stuff this year. For comments there, for our newsletter, also follow us on Instagram where you see behind the scenes. And um, what you ate for dinner, I guess. Don't you always put that up there? What, on Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. Yeah. Follow us. You guys check yep. it out. Cool stuff. Hashtag TI Crew. Peace. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.